Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video today. We're gonna be doing a video that is gonna go through... So, Fake Grand Order North America is two years behind from the Japanese version. Uh, that means we get all the cool hype stuff two years later, but that also means we can prepare two years before then. Alright, simple enough. So today's video, I'm going to be looking through absolutely everything come that's supposed to be coming this year. Now, some of these stuff actually won't be coming. Like, um, <laughs> there's no way NA is going to get a Game Party Japan 2019 Expedition commemoration campaign. Um, just because, one, it's not 2019 anymore, it's 2021. Um, so we're not going to be able to get everything, but I at least want to touch base and see every single event that's coming, every single unit that's coming, every single, uh, thing that is coming, celebration, stuff like that. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to leave a like. This is going to be a very long video, so oh, strap in and get ready. And also in the comments, you can tell me what event you're looking forward to, what you're looking forward to, anything else in the world, in, as long as it relates to Fate Grand Order. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more um, videos featuring me. I will also be doing another video where I go more deep into spe some specific servants, like maybe the maybe like five or so. Some people have requested for me. Um, this is again more focused on the actual events and everything. I will at least say who is coming this year, but maybe not explain who is the top people to go through unless it comes into my mind. Okay. So let's start off here. So this is a this is where we're currently touching base right here. New Year's campaign. This is currently going on. This is the next expected banner, featuring Old Man Lee. He is a single target uh, arts assassin. So that's something to take note of. Um, I think also his banner is better because you get uh, Saber Deer Mood and Tamoy as opposed to Tamamo and Fion, even though Fion is really good. Um, where chances are not getting this. We, we we always get the CEs, so you never have to worry about us not getting a CE for something. But usually by the time this comes out, like we never do stage stuff, and I don't think we ever get stage stuff. We always get the CEs, but we never actually get um, the commemoration for it. Uh, Heavens Feel 3 premiere, that's not happening because the third one's already coming out here. So this is something... Um, the Winter Festival, is gonna, I'm going to have to come back to this. You do get quartz in this one for, from what I remember. Um, I'm going to be actually kind of interested to see what they do here because this specific campaign is tied into announcing the collabs coming back. So this year, Prisma, Prisma Ilya comes back and then also CCC comes back for the last time, basically. Um, it also has some pretty nice quartz right here, so six... 16 quarts ain't nothing to scoff at, I would say. Um, but we don't really do this, and we're not doing this this year, so I'll be interested to see what they replace it with. We, chances are, should be getting those quarts and everything else. Like, they're not going to do that, but they'll probably just do a stream or something. Especially with the current state of the world, the way it's in. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get this banner, but if we do, there's Ivan. The questionnaire, fill this out, get some tickets. Uh, Prisma, reinstall. The one thing I do kind of want to mention about this one is that this is the banner that adds in Miyu. Um, let me see, where's the banner? Summoning campaign. Miyu. Miyu is similar to um, last year's unit that came with the Shiki um, event, in which they are super crazy limited. So they never came back, and Miyu has so far never come back. The only difference is that Miyu is not the best unit in the world. Um, they really needed, they really need to give her some strengthenings of some kind. I, you know, as someone who knows a very deep diehard Miyu fan who got her NP5, he's very disappointed with what they've done with Miyu, so, um, it would be very nice if they gave her some kind of a buff of some kind, because currently what she gives is kind of like a mini Merlin that hurts herself in a way, so... Um, she is super limited, so if you are someone for the collection standpoint, this is going to be the last time you're ever going to get them. Because, again, let me show the servant that I'm talking about, because I'm not mentioning them by name. Oop, X out of that. Um, they're right up here. Yeah, Fujino. She never came back. And she still hasn't come back. She recently did show up on the summer event, but summer event doesn't mean anything. So that's basically the rest of January. All we got really is Prisma Ilya coming and that's the second event for this and it should go into February. In February we should have Valentine's which has Murasaki. Now Murasaki's banner is very rough. 
That same friend I mentioned who was a big fan of Miu um, also went hard on this banner, specifically trying to get Setonia. So this banner ha comes with a lot of other women units on Raid Up. Um, as you can see here, my girl Quetz right there. I'm gonna have to avoid that day like the plague. Um, you can see basically any unit you want, but they have to basically share the banner with Murasaki. So if you get a featured SSR on this banner, you have basically a coin flip to lose, um, to win. Um, if, if it's heads, you get Murasaki. If it's tails, it's the unit you want. So remember that. And my friend literally went crazy trying to get Setonia, and uh, he ended up getting his Murasaki MP5 and got zero copies. So remember the dangers of this specific Valentine's. It's very tempting because there's a lot of good units on the other side. And Murasaki herself isn't the most breath <laughs> game defining unit, I guess, in the world. There are better AoE casters, I would say. Uh, but I digress. So here's the other Winterfest, which again gives the same amount of quartz with this announcement of Seraph, but it also comes with the announcement for Bella Lisa, which is the brand new QP farming for the friends list. So Bella Lisa, something very good, because when you put it basically as the new, it's the new version of the Bonsi that we got last year, except for QP this time. For an event later on, it's gonna be very important that you get this max limit as soon as possible, I would say. Um, and we'll touch base on that a little bit later. So yeah. Again, the things they announce in here are very important to the game. Um, so I'm going to be interested how they kind of handle it. And of course, CCC is coming back this year. There's also going to be a rerun with uh, Semiramis, if you are deep into wanting Semiramis, uh, who was the Valentine's unit last year. So here's Seraph. It comes back, um, and the new unit that comes with it, basically seven, yeah, a week later, is King Protea, who is another Sakura face, the giant kaiju daughter everyone loves. So that's something to keep in mind, and that's February. Um, <laughs> it's a real kind of rough shot start if you're someone who really likes the collab units. Uh, thankfully, King Protea does come back more frequently than Miyu does, but, it, but it's rough nonetheless. And don't forget that with CCC coming back, that also means the return of Melt and the free BB as well. Um, so let's move on. March. This is going to be... yes. Thankfully, it's a pretty simple year. We get the escape from Barkerville Street rerun. Um, it's a rerun of a campaign. This was like a, an escape room, I believe. And then they ended up making it, I think, into a, an event of some kind. I don't think they follow the same story, but either way, um, this is supposed to be the... Um, this is where Chaldea Boy, Cald Chaldea Boys comes into play. It is the return day for Japan. Basically, their version of male Valentines, where in Japan... Women give chocolates to boys they love, and then boys give return gifts as thank you for the chocolate. So um, that's the event coming for this one right here. Uh, this also has bartender uh, has bartender Moriarty, so it's a very good costume. Very fun. I think it also comes with Moriarty's buff, which is a pretty fun buff, I would say. Interlude campaign, pretty cool. Um, this is the big one. This is, I think, the first big event of the actual year. This is the Kama event. Kama is a single target um, quick quick unit who is an assassin and she is amazing. One of the best uh, assassins easily. For the longest time the only assassin you really needed was King Asan and now it's a little bit less one-sided as it was and this is the banner. This is also a very good banner by the way especially if you have someone like Scotty because uh, this banner also has Parvati and it has Kama. Um, Parvati is fantastic for looping with... She's the best Lancer, I think, for looping in terms of <laughs> having easy skills that you can level up and also being an extremely good at MP gain. Um, Bradamante is a 5-star. Not as good as looping as she is because she requires too much, I would say. Because, because of being a 5-star and having to have that added... <laughs> I guess burden to your skills and QP cost, and Valkyrie is very good, as good as our Parvati, but the difference is that her skills require um, newer material, which can be real pain in the ass to get, I would say. Um, obviously that kind of comes down to player for player, but whatever. This is a very good, this is the first big event, I would say. And then there's also a part two with this one, featuring these lovely people right here. This, the old man Sit, and Kiara, and Sherezade. So here. Alright, 
Next, and this is another pretty, it's another kind of rough month, I would say. So we had the 16 million downloads campaign, uh, which is a good way to get 10 tickets, of course. You can go down here, 10 tickets, all this good stuff here. But also comes with uh, this stuff right here, some expansion limits, storage and expansion. This right here, the master missions for extra mission update, extra missions that will now include milestones reward for interludes previously only for strengthening quests so basically for every 10 interludes you do you get 10 quarts um you go all the way to 190 you get 190 quarts easy in your pocket very nice update very good um it can be very tempting to immediately spend them because of the stuff that's coming up afterwards this also does come out after um comma's event is already done i believe yeah because this starts on the 10th and i think yeah, the exact date commas <laughs> event leaves, that's what they put it up, so very good timing. Also, you get some 10 quarts if you clear Lost Belt 3 intro, so remember to do that. Keep up with the game. It's just easier on your life if you just constantly keep up to date with the story. Um, it can be kind of tough, especially if you're someone who likes to read the story. It's a lot to read in one go. Uh, Guda Guda 3 gets its rerun here. Uh, this features a Okita Altar and these two dudes right here. Ryoma and his dragon lizard wife. Um, this campaign, I don't know if they're going to be able to do again, but they sh they're going to have to because of all the quarts that they give here. <laughs> so you have to answer five riddles on this page and you earn same quartz. So I think they're going to do this. And then this also reveals that they're going to do a study in dubious Maihosoi, um, which I think comes out later in May. Yeah, because currently we're on April, so that comes out next month. So it's something to keep important. We'll get to there when we get to there. Um, this is the other campaign for this one specifically. See, so it's just a little C, you know, a little, little fight. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not too hard. It's not much, but it's something. <sighs> next, the El, El, Lord El Malloy 2 Case Files collaboration pre-campaign. This is to get us ready for the next collab. So there's usually one collab event per year in Fate Grand Order. Um, for this year, it is the Case Files El Lord, Lord El Malloy Waver, as I call him, because his to me he is Waver. Um, he has a detective show, and he has an event collab for it this year. So that's going to be this year's event. Um, this is what you get from... I don't know if... <laughs> so we already have Alexander's animation update, so I don't know if they're going to plan to sneak in some other animation updates, but we'll see. Um... Maybe some quality of life changes will come with this. I'm not 100% sure. Um, this also comes with this. I would suggest not summoning on this because you would really only want Waver. And if you badly want Waver, you should actually wait an entire year and get them free with a ticket. Um, which is this year. This year is not the year we get the free ticket from that gives us a uh, five star unit. Uh, that comes next year. So something to think about. This is the Lady Rain case files. The main banner unit for this one is, I want to say <laughs> Reigns. It is uh, Reigns herself. Where is she? Summoning campaign. There she is. Reigns. Also comes with, uh, how do you pronounce this name? Austria, who is the pseudo servant for Luxembourg. That's not her name. Luxria. I can't pronounce her name. It's like L U X something. Um, she's the one who constantly fights. Rin, and she's at the end of, I believe, Unlimited Blade Works, and she's been in some of the other stuff that... There it is. Uh, Ludovigelito Eldefilt. I can't pronounce that name, so... That's why it, I have such a hard time remembering the damn name of her. Um, that's the collab. Next. That's the end of April. Now we're in May. Um, so this event is the one event in May. Um... This is kind of rough for a lot of reasons, and it's because of this banner right here. This is a banner that features um, Jean, and also my boy, um, Sel uh, Ed Celiari. There you go. I was trying to remember, like, I was going to say Salatoni, <laughs> Salami, but no. Um, two very popular Avenger units. Celiari is extremely good for a three Avenger. Uh, Jean is one of the most popular five-star Avengers out there. Um, so it can be kind of rough. But that's the event. This is also the event that brings us the, um, someone we'll talk about later, but, um, 
Well, actually, I won't say it, you know, just in case you want to don't want to get spoiled by the story. But yeah, that's the main event that's out in May. June, <laughs> June is where we finally get the next Lost Belt, which is India. This is the India Lost Belt, pre-campaign, interlude campaign. This summon campaign. So I should at least go here to, to show the summoning. So for the first summon, we got, of course, the Great Statue God and Lashimba and William Tell. Um, none of these units are limited, so they will always be in the banner. Um, now, who is this? This is, of course, the Great Elephant God is, of course, Jinako, who is from Extra CCC. She is the master of um, Karna over here, and that's the, the, the banner she gets introduced. Now, similar to Waver, if you badly want her, you can actually wait a year for the free five-star ticket, because the five-star ticket is any five-star that is not limited or story-locked, and she's neither of those, so you can get her. She is also Moon Cancer. That is her class. Um, so this is the summon. Arjuna Altar. This man. Along with Asavizabudram. Who I cannot pronounce. So I'm used to this man. Arjuna Altar is currently, as of the recording of this video, which is on January 1st, 6, 2021, the best berserker farmer in the entire game. Um, Raiko was the best farmer in the game since she released and up till now. Um, that is no longer the case in Japan. It is Arjuna Altar because this man is built extremely stupid. A lot of people are going to be summoning for him. Um, he's just insanely busted. There's like no real going around it. So that's something to keep in mind. Here's a 17 million downloads campaign. Um, this comes right here. Limited time masters. Uh, let me go here. Friend point bonuses, gift box update. I think right here shows, yeah, 10 tickets, of course. Um, rare prism exchange items, which are always welcome. Um, the game system updates is going to be tough because we already have all... All three of these updates are already in the game, so I don't know if they're going to plan something else. And if you want Nero Bread, she is on this banner, but it's up to you. Um, we probably chances are not going to get that. Next, we are now in July. July is Gouda Gouda, the final hood, <laughs> the final Gouda Gouda, which is then preceded by the next Gouda Gouda. But this Gouda Gouda um, introduces another limited um, three star. It is, let me see, where is the banner down here? It should be all the way down here. Yeah. This guy right here, who is a limited servant. He's a th uh, three star. He is called Mori Nagashiyoshi. Um, there you go. He's a limited three star, so you can only really pull him on the Gouda Gouda banner, and he really doesn't show up again, as far as I'm aware. He probably shows up in some of the GSSRs that are limited to only limited units and also have Berserkers in it, but for the most part, this is your one shot for him. And the five star for this, uh, for this banner is, of course, Avenger Nobu. You can see her right here. In all three of her forms, young man, mama, all the good stuff. Um, and that's Demon King Nobunaga. And this is also one of the very few banners that actually has a four swimsuit unit on it, uh, which is um, Nobunaga in her swimsuit, Berserker. So that's something to keep in mind. There's not a lot of times where, at least they're doing it a little bit more now, but usually there's not a lot of banners that hash feature old um, swimsuit units. It's usually maybe one or two a year. And of course, speaking of swimsuit units, this is also the rerun of the Server Servants Summer Festival 2018 rerun. Um, which of course features the old swimsuit units. You can also get, this is your last chance until I guess they rerun this event to get the costumes for Dantes, Caster Gilgamesh, and Robin. Go, go down here. This is also where they add in to the Rare Prism Shop Dantes' event, because they realize at some point maybe it wasn't such a good idea to make a character who ends up being super important to a lot of stories uh, in some one-off event that only happened early on in the game, so you'll actually be able to um, buy his event from the shop and play it yourself. Um, where is the summoning campaign? I feel like I skipped it. There it is. So there's three summoning campaigns for here. Number one featuring Jean the Arc Archer, um, along with Ibaraki and Samurushi. 
And then there's a male one featuring Dantes, Gilgamesh Gaster, and Robin Hood. And then later on, there's a third one featuring Summer BB, Mysterious Hero, and XX, and Maeve Saber. And of course, it is a rerun, so. Um, well, let me see here, because July, August 3rd. No, okay, so. Here it is, the fourth anniversary. A lot of good stuff come in comes in this specific anniversary. It's always 10 tickets. Um, clear lock spells. 30, uh, 30 quarts if you would clear at least up to three. Um, so the main record free quest clear rewards. Main record free quest first time clear one out of four AP. Um, this will give you around 180 quarts for beating those quests per each quest. So if you keep up to date, you should have it. And the next up, strengthenings are coming. Command card strengthening. I want to say we. No, we don't have this. We will be getting this, though. So, the St. Quartz summoning count increases. Every 30 Quartz summons will now yield 11 cards instead of 10. Every 10 single rolls will reward you with one free single roll. Every, every summoning banner has their own count. So, as you can see here, instead of getting 10, we get 11. You won't think it's like, oh, man, that doesn't really change it that much. But it actually does increase the chances of you getting something you want just that much slightly better in a game like with like fate where it's already super hard to summon what you want even getting one extra summon is better than <laughs> get, give me up your chances way higher than it was previously i'll say that much um and also with this um change comes a change where 10 tickets now gives you uh, a free single so up until this point using 10 tickets gave you nothing um, which this is also the reason why I'll be saving a lot of my tickets until this exact moment. It's because I don't want to spend any more tickets until this specific um, update is implemented. Otherwise, I'm just losing free summons in my mind. That's how I view it anyway. Different strokes, different folks, but whatever. Whatever you like. And of course, the Lucky Bag Summon campaign is also going to be here, um, as it is every year. Oh man, there's so much to go through. So the Lucky Bag divided into two uh, types. First one is featuring three Knights classes, which is Saber, Archer, and Lancer. And it also includes Rulers, Avengers, Moon Cancers, and Foreigners. Um, but I want to say it's only limited use. Yeah, it's only limited. So, and then the other banner has the four Calvary, all four Cal Calvary classes? Sure. Rider, Caster, Assassin, Berserker, and Alter Egos. So, you can see here, this is the breakdown of the two banners. Um, I it would require more time than we have for this video to, to document which one you want to go to, but you can kind of look at the list and see which one you would rather go for. Um, as someone with an MP5 um, Art Artorio over here on a Summer Saber, I uh, chances are I will not be summoning on this side of the banner because I do not like the idea of getting a dupe and getting my first uh, six, uh, uh, my sixth copy of a unit. <laughs> so probably going to go over here and hope for the best. And as you can see here, this side also has Arjuna Altar, also has Raiko. There's a lot of good stuff in here. They do at least do the good thing of having more modern units on it, uh, which is always nice. And finally. Oh man, Leonardo da Vinci Rider also comes with the anniversary. She's the anniversary unit. Now, when she debuted, she was broken. For the last, for the only reason she didn't get more coverage, I want to say, is because she was an arts unit. And so, arts meta was kind of like, you know, Tamamo's doing her best, but it wasn't in the greatest place in the world. I think people will share that. She was definitely a shot of, in, like, a shot of life into arts for sure um she's insa insanely busted like i have her in my J japanese account and i also have that where in japan where currently castoria is the thing um, she's just insane she's on the same level tier as scotty you probably won't see it just because it's like well she's not a support caster how can she be on a similar tier link I would say, I would consider her on a similar tier like of just being so good at, so insanely good at what she does that I feel like some people ignore her, but she is so dumb busted. She can do everything. She can attack, she can support, and that's all I'll say for now because, again, there, I can do a 
future video where I'll go more into detail about my thoughts on her, but just know she's very much worthy of being an anniversary unit. All right, Servant Strengthening. This is the Las Vegas official bout. This features brand new swimsuit units and a Vegas showcase and do, dude, uh, <laughs> dude costumes for Merlin, Siegfried, and my ninja boy, Koma. Um, and of course, <laughs> Melt gets one as well with shades on or no shades. Um, in terms of fun summoning, we do have a Merlin summon banner. That's going to get a lot of people. We have on banner one, Musashi Berserker, um, Hime, Archer, Car Carmilla, Ryder. And then on the third banner, we have um, Lance Artoria Ruler. And we have Mysterious Alter Ego A. And Okita Soju Assassin. Okita finally getting her swimsuit. And there's also a thing with this one called Casino Quests, where if you do, I believe, the Camelot, you'll want to have a lot of QP specifically for this event, because this event costs a ticket and QP to enter. Um, but beating it, beating it gives you this much QP. So you enter it, it costs 400k, but then you're leaving with potentially this much QP in your back pocket. And then this can also be boosted up using a bunch of the other um, grind seas as well for QP. So 100% worth doing. That's what I gotta say. And this event's very good if you're low on QP. Just remember to carry some QP with you and use your ticket smartly. All right, next. That's August. Now this is where the game gets Real rough. I'm going to say the rough period starts from August, from anniversary till the end of the game. Because we have anniversary with a great unit. We have the brand new summer um, summer units that also features a Merlin banner. Um, we have the battle in New York, uh, which is basically like a rerun. No, it's, a, it's the second year running of battle in New York. This has Gilgamesh on it. And then there's another banner that has Ishtar on it. I'm literally feeling tired just from mentioning it. Um, the, here's the Gilgamesh banner. Um, there might not be one for Ishtar now that I look at it. No, nope, there she is. Mm -hmm. Main banner. Uh, maybe there's not an Ishtar. I thought there was, but... Oh, this might be tied to the story reason of why she shows up. Um... But okay, that's one less thing to worry about. That's good. Oh boy. Okay. So that's rough. Battle New York is rough. Um, this banner is probably a lot rougher if you are a fan of uh, Lancer Raiko. Because like I said, a lot of times swimsuit units don't show up a bunch. I want to say that later on there is an event featuring Nemo where she comes back. So it might be best to actually hold off on this one. So this is actually a pretty easy banner for you to kind of skip. I'm also not 100% sure we'll get it, but usually we get those. Now we're in October. The Halloween rerun, which features Setonia, which is not easy enough to kind of like, you know, not you don't have to go hard on this one. Ugh. Sable Wars 2. This one's rough. Space Ishtar and Calamity Jane are the new units coming with the Seminon campaign. Um, this year, you won't see it. But Space Ishtar is a arts-focused AoE unit who can also change her typing. She can only do it for one turn, but she can, if she so wants, change it to Buster real quick. But next year, when the anniversary unit is Castoria, she replaces Dantes as the best Avenger to grind with because of how stupid dumb Castoria is and basically every arts focused um, PA Wii unit gets a huge buff. And basically everyone in arts gets a huge buff. Even Tamamo, who I mentioned is the current um, buffer for arts, gets a huge buff from Castoria showing up. Um, and now I think here's where things start to slowly... No, because here's the 18 million downloads campaign where you can get Scotty as a banner. Oh my god. A Scotty banner. Again, it will be technically, um, by this point, let's see, one, two, and then add six months, eight months before 
Castoria. Even though I say Castoria completely changes the meta, that does not mean Quick is bad. Quick is still amazing at what it does. Um, it just means it's not the shiny new thing in the meta at the moment. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that it's actually bad. It, it's still very good. And I still would prefer it over Buster personally, but unless it's a uh, challenge quest of some kind. But that's me. And it's different strokes to different folks. Christmas 2019, you'll notice that there's no Samba. Rest in peace. Samba. It never comes back. Don't ask me why. I'm looking into it. Um, but for Christmas 2019, Saber Ostelfo. So if you're a big Ostelfo fan, and there's a lot of good big Ostelfo fans out there, this is the banner for you. December. The final month. You think, finally, this is time to rest. Wrong. Not time to rest. <laughs> there's more coming. But this is the last big unit for this year. Um, let me see. No, she's not on here. She's on here. Summoning Campaign. So if Summoning Campaign features Super Orion and uh, Europa. Europa is a god. Super Orion is the bear. In our, you know how there's a card currently called Orion? Um, and Orion is technically the bear and Artemis the goddess is who you're controlling. This is how Artemis actually looks like. Um... And he finally gets a, um, a unit of some kind. And, um, you know, not to spoil stuff in the story, but let's just say he's insanely busted good. I've, again, another unit that I used on um, JP, who had a friend at level, level 90, 10, 10, 10 skills, and he was just insane. And also, good thing to take note, he is an arts unit. He also buffs himself. But that doesn't matter, because he brings the hurt. Just look at this. Look. Look at this. <laughs> this is... Okay. Moving on. Um, Super Ryan. He's from at the Atlantis Lost Belt. And finally, let's actually end it with... Um, and here's the return of some Atlantis dudes. Of course. Uh, Achilles is a features a band of themselves. So if you're a big fan of Achilles, you can get him here. And let's actually end it for what will we we should be expecting for 2022 to be the banner unit, because um, it's going to be right here. So we'll go a full year. It is going to be there. She is. I forget her name because it's a Yangufai who is a foreigner girl. She is going to be the New Year's unit. Um, so that's a full year of everything kind of coming. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Um, it doesn't. The funny thing is that it feels like a lot of stuff, but then when you're actually playing, it's actually a very long wait to get what you want. <laughs> um, but that's good, kind of, because that means you can plan ahead and see how you want to do things. Um, like I said, I think 2019 is a year of specifically waiting for the next year. A lot of the units are be like, oh man, they're not as good this year. But next year, when um, Castoria is out, it's a whole different game. Castoria really does change basically everything in the game. It's in terms of what is the highest um, top tier unit you can find. Um, so it's something to kind of take in mind. But yeah, that's everything coming in 2019. Again, I'm going to make a separate video talking about um, the stuff I'm personally looking forward to and some of the stronger dudes to look out for. Um, that's the end of today's video, because this is almost 30 minutes long. It is 30 minutes long. Jesus Christ. So that's going to be the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, tell me how you're feeling for this specific year. Are you hopeful? Are you sad? Um, are you afraid for anything of your wallet? As always, spend carefully. <laughs> it's always nice to be reminded by someone to watch your spending. So remember to watch your spending. And if you have any problems, seek help. You can talk to whoever you feel confident in. There's no shame in having a problem and trying to seek help from it. That's what I'll say for the end of this. So that's going to be the end of the video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, God, I need a drink.